Hey guys, John here from PortableDeviceParts.com with another repair tutorial. Today's tutorial is of the uh, Acer Aspire. Uh, it's a model of uh, 1830, sorry. In this series of the 1.8 models, they all come out with a 11.6 inch screen. And uh, in the link below, you can see, um, in the comments below, you can see a link to uh, the correct purchase. Now all purchases come with a toolkit, separating tool and um, the instructions obviously with this video. So now first things first what you need to do is remove the battery. So you close the lid, turn everything over and then you take the battery out. Make sure you unlock it and oh, oh, actually that was unlocked sorry. You unlock it like so and you just take that out. So, hopefully it slides out eventually. There we go. Okay, so this is probably one of the easiest laptop screens to fix. The reason being is uh, for, for a few reasons. There's no tabs to take off and take the screws out, you just take this bezel off and pretty much take the screen out. Now, also these hinges are, are fairly easy to get off. So, first things first, you just get like a pry tool or a separating tool that does come in the toolkit and just start at the top and around the sides. So, I'll just show you, just put it in between the line here and you slowly work your way around. and you'll hear clicking. Clicking is good. I mean, even if you did say break this, it wouldn't be a big issue. They're fairly cheap to come by, but you want to avoid it. I mean, it's pretty hard to actually break these screens, these screen bezels, but occasionally it can occur. So just go around until you hear clicking everywhere. Click, and I'm just going to try and get into the view of the camera. You might not be able to see it in full detail, but you know, you just see I'm going around, just slowly prying it open, like you know, like so. And you know, eventually, this is really easy to do. I mean, you don't need to be a technician as such. You keep on going around, you can even use your hands. You know, it comes comes down to what you're comfortable with. You know, if, if the worst case is, you could probably try and use a, a blunt type knife to actually undo it. So now we get to this part, and we take we get our fingers to two together, up, 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 like that, and there we go. As you can see, it's pretty simple. That just came right off. Uh, now, the next part is taking the LCD off. Now. For this method, I've got a little bit of a hack in the sense that you can save yourself a bit of time. By loosening the hinges a little bit, the screws at the bottom, so you just get a Phillips set. You loosen the hinges a bit, and what that'll do is, I'll just show you what it does. The two, the one, two, three, four screws at the bottom here. Oops, I've got to take, and there's two at the top. You take the two at the top out and loosen the four at the bottom. And they're black screws, okay? So just put all the screws aside so you don't lose them. And there you go, like I've just almost lost the screw. So don't do that. Now, uh, as you can see, loosening these two and not removing them makes your job a little bit easier. I'll show you what I mean by that. Because it'll, it'll make the, the rear casing at the back um, have a bit of movement. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean by a bit of movement. Okay, so... At the back here, I'll just 
try and get into the field of view of the camera, you'll see that the backing separates a bit and then you can access the screws to take off. There's only two and, and you're pretty much you know, good to go. So you just loosen it up a bit. Uh, before you do that, there's a little sticky connector here and you want to do that. So, we got on the hinge arm, they call them, that's holding the LCD, one, two, and then three and four. So we just easily take them off. One. And sorry if I look a bit awkward doing this, I'm just trying to keep in your view here. Two. one, the fourth one, four, and then what you do is, just get the LCD screen, oh, take this part off, I almost forgot about this, okay, this should unstick, um, okay, this should unstick, On the back here, you just unstick it. It's just the cable is stuck to the LCD screen. It can be a bit awkward. And what I mean by that is that you'll see the cable here. And then there's a bit of sticky stuff right, and I'll try and get into the field. Field of view of the camera there. You'll see sticky stuff there. You just need to take that off. And you disconnect the screen. Try and use a knife if it's too sticky. This one's fairly old, so. Once you disconnect that, the screen is totally off, and you just put in the connector again, and you're good to go. So see how you go with that, and um, by all means leave a comment if you've got any questions. You know, this is pretty much the easiest laptop screen to repair. I don't have to go into too much detail. If you've got any questions, as I said, please ask, and um, thanks for watching. See you guys.